Tara here from 40 Below Fruity, and I'm with my friend LJ Jackfruit. We're not together today, but we're Skyping me from Vancouver Island and her from Vancouver. And we're going to talk about the woman time, the cramps, the bloating, the PMS, or the lack of it, um, and how that changes with a raw food lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while, too, because I had a significant change in, in my cycle when I went 80-10-10 and when I went raw, and I was pretty confused at first. I, I didn't know what was really going on because, you know, for so many years, I was, you know, brainwashed to think that we're supposed to have our periods every, like, I don't know, 28, 30 days, something like that, right? But it's really, you know, not like that for everybody. What do you think, Tara? I'm the same. I was told, you know, there was supposed to be every 28 days. To be honest, it never was. I, yes. I don't think I ever had one month, my whole life, that was ever the same as the month before. Sometimes mm -hmm. it came two weeks late, sometimes a week early, and there was never any rhyme or reason to it. So I yeah. just came to expect the unexpected my whole life with it. Yeah, for, for sure. And, you know, and it's, I think for some people it was pretty regular, though. It's because, you know, most people were on a standard diet or of, of, of total, uh, you know, protein and fat, which does totally different things to your body, right? Yeah. Birth control too, you know. Most people don't have a, a regular cycle. They have a birth control cycle. And as soon as they get off the birth control, that's when things start going wrong. I was on the shot. Do you know what that is? Yeah, the birth control shot. How often yeah. were you on it for? Was it oh my God, I was on it for like eight or nine years. Ooh, brutal. Once a month. Yeah. So I didn't get a period, um, and I had other birth controls before that I was experimenting with. I didn't get a period for like nine or ten years, Tara. It was nuts. And I know that when, when I went 80-10-10, because I went 80-10-10 cooked before I went fully raw, I totally lost my period. And um, I think I've mentioned it to you. Do you know how long I lost it for? Yeah, almost a year, was it? Or? I lost it for 15 months. Yeah, so it's over. So I had had two regular-ish periods before that since going off, finally since going off my birth control, and then I went 80-10-10, and then 15 more months, no period. And, you know, I was a little bit nervous at the beginning. I was a little bit scared. Yeah. Um, and But I, I knew intuitively that I was doing my body good and that everything was okay. Like we've also got to go with our gut and how we intuitively feel about it, right? Yeah. And I didn't have one for almost a year and a half. I, I even mentioned it to a gynecologist. Do you know what she said? What? She said that um, diet has nothing to do with your period. Yeah, right. I, I find a lot, there's a huge misconception that ovulation equals a menstrual flow mm -hmm. and the two are not synonymous. And I think everyone just assumes that they are, that if you're ovulating, you then have your menstrual cycle. Um, but your hormones can still do their thing without bleeding. And it doesn't mean that you're not ovulating or that you're not fertile just because you're not bleeding. Is that right? Were you still ovulating? Yeah, and I knew I was because uh, you just have to look for that yeah, um, sticky discharge. Yeah. And that was happening to me on a fairly regular basis. There's been a lot of speculation that I've read that when you're detoxing, your body has other things to feel and it can't focus on your menstrual cycle and, and so it stops it for a time being to work on other things. What do you think about that? Totally true. Your body is also adjusting from years of abuse. I, I truly believe the more crap you put in your body, the more you're going to have a heavier flow and the, the worse your period is going to be. And you know, everyone also is going to get into a different cycle once they do go fully raw or stick to 80, 10, 10. That's something, you just brought up something in my mind that um, if, for all the women watching this video, I've worked in workplaces where I'm surrounded by women, only women, and every one of us, our cycles uh, usually conform to the person who's using the strongest birth control. That's what I found. Yes. Uh, let's talk about diet. And it, I want to share a little bit about my experience because when I first came to the raw food lifestyle, unfortunately, I didn't find 80-10-10 until two years after I found the raw food lifestyle. So I couldn't find 80-10-10. So I did high fat raw. And I, I had heard all these stories of people when the, their period got lighter, they didn't have as many cramps, yada, yada. 
but mine actually got worse. I got the worst cramps. It felt like I was being stabbed in the stomach, you know, or in the uterus. Um, yeah. And I had to lay down all day. My energy was just completely drained. My skin would get pale. I, I just, I felt like crap. And it was a very, very heavy flow that would last for like 10 days. Did you notice yeah. anything like that with past lifestyles or with what you were eating? I've never had a huge problem with my period to begin with. Yeah. So, no, I never, I never really had anything too, too brutal, even at my crappiest diet. I think also it's exercise yeah. because I've also been crazy active my whole life. Yeah. And I know that, um, I, I really feel that with, with steady exercise, you can have an easier time with your, with yeah. your periods yeah. while you're on it, especially. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I agree. I just started, I mean, there's been plenty of times where I've kind of gone up and down with exercise trying to find my balance and I've been exercising really kind of consistently now for about five months I was off and on before this and yeah, yeah I've noticed a big difference I don't get cramps at all anymore I barely even notice it's there I do remember though the saltier food I ate yeah. before in my other diets yeah. the worse yeah. my period would be and the worse my cramps and the worse my bloating yeah. salt can have a huge effect I really believe yeah. on how bad your period is so what have you noticed now that your period has actually come back after 15 months without it? What's it like? Is it light? Is it like, what, what do you experience? Well, I've only had two, right? It was um, pretty much no problem. You know, the first one was a bit longer. It was like, um, I think it was like eight or nine days. Yeah. Because yeah. I hadn't had it in 15 months, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so I think my body was just finally relaxing and, and detoxing what it had stored I'm not sure yeah. um, but my second one was really no problem uh, I did notice a little bit of um, bloating and PMSing before yep. but you know the difference it would have been if I was still on a, a standard oh, yeah. vegan or vegetarian diet yeah. you know it's like night and day it would have been okay. so much worse yeah. just the thing the biggest thing I want girls to know is to just you know just relax because it's going to come when your body's ready, yeah. it, it will come. Yeah. And it's just trying to figure everything out right now. Especially if someone's come from a past history of anorexia and bulimia. I don't, oh. yeah. I yeah. don't think they truly know how much they've damaged the body. It's not like you can just start eating raw foods and six months later your body is balanced and you've lost all the weight. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way for your period either, I don't think. Yeah, and that's the great point you brought up as well because... Even if you didn't have anorexia or bulimia, you know, most women go through crazy dieting phases. And that can have a terrible effect on your body as well. I did that a lot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I lost my period for three months when I first found 801010. Yeah. Uh, when I first started, I started it in during the winter in February. And um, I lost it for three months. And at first, I was like, I wasn't scared. I was like, hell yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> good riddance you know and then it came back and I'm like oh really did it have to come back and yeah. it's just been kind of regular ever since and it's yeah been, it's yeah I was just gonna ask you so so is it regular for you now what's that like um actually yeah it's it's the most regular it's ever been it, it does it usually happen every 30 days or so actually I can track it by the moon which is pretty amazing our women's bodies I think it's not just like spiritual woo woo hippie bullshit it's actually <laughs> legit um our bodies have everything to do with the moon. They're governed by the moon. So yeah. I actually have, where is it? This book is amazing. Moon Mysteries. And uh, I got this from my friend Alyssa from We Are Wildness. But these are local women, Neo Sims and Nakaya Seeds. And they've got this um, Moon Mysteries Reclaiming Women's Menstrual Wisdom. Something I wanted to bring up is do you feel the need for more calories when you have your period? The last couple times, have you felt that at all? Like you need to eat a little more? You know that you say that. I hadn't thought of it until you asked, but I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. And and that's the awesome thing about this lifestyle is I I did it without even thinking about it. You know, I my brainwashing of years of of standard diet, calorie restriction, abuse is finally starting to lift. <laughs> and yeah, I did it naturally, like like an animal would in nature like a squirrel getting ready to go into hibernation or something. Yeah. I was just, you know, getting the calories and storing them. I think I was probably pounding the dates. You know, I barely, I barely know it's there. Yeah. And I use a diva cup. 
Yeah. And I don't feel it like at all. Yeah. I know that I know you, it doesn't work for you. Um, yeah. But but some women, it's oh, great. Yeah. Most most people do love the Diva Cup. I've just never loved that kind of thing. I actually use Luna pads, which is a yeah. reusable, washable, same kind of thing, same concept. It still saves a lot of waste. Um, if, if people are thinking about that, the Diva Cup and Luna pads, those are the way to go, those two products. The more also you stress about something, yes. the bigger deal it's going to be, right? Yeah. So if you're totally stressed about your period now that you've gone raw or 80-10-10, the longer it might take to come. You've just got to relax and let your body do its job, right? But that was such a good chat. Wow, I really hope that was helpful to you guys. Thanks guys for watching. I hope that helped you. Comment down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> see ya.